Remembering back to being a small child and my mom always telling us as kids, you know, when life kicks you to the ground, you've got two choices in life. You can either curl up in the corner and cry about it, or you pick yourself up, you brush yourself off, and you get on with it. Looking back on it now, I'm thinking uh, a 31 year old who's a computer graphics designer, animator, very much relies on his site, flies planes, drives cars, you know, all that type of thing, you'd think saying, okay, now you see, now you don't. And that's literally how I lost my sight. The snap, it's gone. Total black in the blink of an eye. I, I didn't want to be one of those bitter blind people that seems to be angry at everybody, angry at the world. Why did this happen to me? Because uh, I did have that why me moment. It was, I was still in the hospital because I was in the hospital for about a month after I lost my sight lying there listening to all the noises around me and everything's pitch black thinking you know, why me what did i do to deserve this why me and that little voice in the back of my head saying why not you like, huh what <laughs> who said that and it just that light bulb moment exactly why not me sitting in that hospital room with my renal doctors, my mom, my brother, and my brother standing right there beside me. He's just 18 months older than me saying, you know, here, take one of mine. Well, where do I sign? He was ready, willing, and able to give me one of his kidneys right there that day. And that's when the doctor told us, you know, I'm sorry because Michael is positive. He's not eligible for a transplant. We're not doing transplants on people that are positive at this point. Um, I don't actually remember when they told me that I could actually go on the list mm -hmm. because there's <clears throat> a list that they put people on you know, based on your blood type. Um, there's all different criteria that put you on a list to be a transplant, a potential transplant recipient. And um, as um, transplants come available, they sort of go through the list and get suitable candidates from that. So to get put on that list was my big goal. And I don't recall when that actually was. I remember the big day sitting, we'd actually just got back from the dog park, this is when I still had my other fellow, and uh, the phone rang, and uh, it was Dr. John Gill, and he called me, and said, Mike, um, I've got some good news for you, just like to let you know that we have an organ available for transplant, and even today, I just get goosebumps up and down my body, my whole body, tingling, because I'd waited six years from the day they told me I needed a kidney transplant and no, I couldn't have one to today. Here I am sitting on my sofa in my living room and they're telling me we have an organ available for transplant. If you want something, see it, create it in your mind and it's gonna, it will happen. If you believe in it strong enough, um, you can make it happen. My whole outlook on life has changed. I realized you can't take anything for granted.